Corey's initial brief was just basically to look for a creature that was sort of uh, illogical, weird looking, uh, not your uh, typical alien uh, for sure. Uh, something that uh, sort of still could emote, something that still had some appeal, but also that uh, sort of came across as something that had a, a surprising intelligence. Uh, but just uh, uh, in the book, M.T. Anderson describes them as rocky coffee tables. Now, of course, that you know doesn't give you a lot of options. Uh, but we started looking for uh, an illogical, weird creature uh, that was not your typical alien uh, that communicated by rubbing its paddles together, and um, and that basically just sort of you know uh, would be a, a worthy opponent and and a fellow actor to our uh, live action uh, actors. One of the things that sort of in my mind I always try to do before we start on a project like that is like what is going to set this apart from other stuff that we've done, what is going to make this unique, uh, how are we going to approach this. You know, very often when we're dealing with CG characters they are either predators or uh, they always have uh, uh, some strong references to nature, whether it's uh, reptilian or, or, um, or mammals. Uh, there's always something from nature that, that we reference, that, that inspires us, and that we want to sort of incorporate in these designs. And this time around, uh, one of the things that, that I wanted to try and do is create this creature that was not something that we hadn't seen before, because that's sort of almost always sort of uh, uh, part of the direction at the beginning, but uh, just something that was really hard to describe. So for me to describe them now in an eloquent or logical way, that would sort of defeat that whole purpose. So. Um, I guess you'll have to see them for yourself, uh, but they're some pretty weird and illogical things, just like we set out to design. The movie has uh, quite a few big set pieces. One of them is the floating city, uh, where uh, basically the wealth of the earth and the planet has sort of traveled and, and tra been transferred to. And um, uh, there's also a moment in the movie where Adam uh, travels to the mothership and joins Shirley there to look at his art that he created and that has been transferred there. Now these pieces are partial uh, locations, actually sort of big chunks locations, uh, but we also have some green screen and blue screen work in there where we do set extensions and we build the world a little bit further out than uh, what we can find here on Earth. The uh, floating platforms are uh, this feature where all the wealth from, from, from this planet, from Earth, has been transferred to and it's this luxurious, sort of lush environment where uh, uh, the rich and the luckier people on this planet have transferred to. And uh, uh, Chloe and Adam take this shuttle uh, up to the floating city. Uh, this comes into a docking station, which is a location that we will uh, extend uh, and turn into more of a transport sort of hub. And then there's the floating city itself, which is this uh, big island of obsidian and this obsidian rock is something that Su Chen our uh, art director came up with and it sort of became this representation or, or a symbol for Vav technology. This is not your typical sci-fi movie and, and we don't really need to explain how certain things happen. Uh, it, I think it's, it's sufficient to just sort of hint at this you know overwhelming technology this really sophisticated world that these Vav have brought uh, to this planet and, 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 and disrupted our economies with but this obsidian will be like a symbol or a representation of that technology that allows things to float and to hover levitate without having to introduce uh, complicated uh, uh, propulsion systems and we see that uh, obsidian in the mothership tunnel we see it in the floating city as its main base Working with Corey has been, has been a blast. His uh, sensibilities are really quirky and fun and uh, figuring out how this character that we're adding uh, to this movie is gonna look, uh, function, uh, emote, uh, has been a, a spectacular process and, uh, and really fun.